and we're back with another video here related everything to Shopify. This is another tutorial video. This is not a business video. All right, guys. So in this video, what we're going to learn today is how to set up flat rate shipping. So we want to set up shipping for flat rate. And the reason why I'm making this video is because you guys asked for it. And so here we have somebody, right? Madison and sell shout outs to you said i'd like to know how to set up flat rate with usps so in the last video if you guys haven't seen it i'll post it in the upper right hand corner whatnot uh there's a video that i made that's uh 15 minutes it talks about setting up shipping with usps and in that video if you guys want like the calculated thing and automatically with usps you guys could go ahead and watch that video in this video instead what we're going to talk about is how to create flat rate shipping so that you could charge your clients something flat rate. And again, if you like this type of content, uh, all I ask is go ahead and subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you are the first ones to hear these videos. And also put down in the comments exactly what is it that you want to learn next or if you have any questions. That's what I'm here for. So let's get started right away. Let's let's do this. All right. So as you guys know, I'm in the shipping settings. But for all of you guys who do not know, I'm going to start from the top. So let's pretend that we are in our website on the back end. We're in the admin page. And on the admin page, what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the bottom left where it says settings. So here's my mouse. We're going to go right here where it says settings. And one of the first things that very important that you guys need to check out is make sure that your locations is pretty much good to go. So make sure that your locations is the address of your company, such as you know, it could be your home address, your facility address, but just make sure that location is properly set and set to default. Again, I go over that details in that previous video that I shared before. So making sure that your settings is all set, we're going to go into shipping. So again, it's in settings and shipping, and we're going to go right here where it says manage rates. And we're going to scroll down and your screen could look different than mine. So I'm just going to put that full disclosure. For one reason, Shopify is always changing stuff. And then for second reasons, I don't know what level you're at with your store. If it brought a whole bunch of stuff in or if it's from an old business, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. But bottom line is, is that if you're trying to follow this instructions from exactly like what I'm doing, whatever it is that you had before, if it looks kind of weird and you're like, OK, no, I never approved any of this, then all you have to do is delete everything that you have there and, you know, I'm going to do that myself. Like right here, I have free shipping. This is a flat rate just to show you. I have free shipping, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this. I'm going to click on the three dots, delete it so that it starts from scratch. A very quick overview as far as what we're looking at right now. You see that it says shipping to and it's focusing on domestic. That is because I'm located in the United States and therefore domestic is the United States. And so anything within the United States that I put as rates will fall under that. However, if you want to have a different shipping policy or different rates for another country, let's say, for example, Canada, you could do that, too. It's just that you don't bulk all that stuff in underneath where it says domestic. I'm going to show you that in a few. Let's focus first on domestic. Right. So what we're going to do is click right here where it says add rate. And right here we have several options. We have set up your own rates or use carrier as calculated rates. Uh, in the previous video, I was using something similar to the use the carrier as calculated rates, because what that does is that uh, your Shopify store then connects to USPS's database in order to figure out how much your products weigh. And based off of that, these are the different services for USPS, so on and so forth. So that's all nice and dandy. Again, I covered that in the other video, which you could watch. But this one, we're not going to do that, even though you're working with USPS. So I want to mention and emphasize that especially to uh, forget, forgive me, Madison. So want to make sure that for the folks just like Madison, right? Uh, with this question, regardless if you're working with USPS, um, UPS, FedEx, it doesn't matter. We're trying to set up a flat rate to charge your customers based on certain conditions. And yes, we could say that it's from whatever carrier. Let's get to it. Set up your own rates, the carrier, the, the rate name. So here we're going to come up with different scenarios. So the first one that I'm going to say is we're going to call this standard delivery. Okay. Standard delivery and standard delivery. We're going to put, you know, like this 
five to seven business days, right? Because I'm more or less gauging how long is it gonna take in order to ship from here over to your customer's doors, no matter where they live inside of the United States, okay? So you have to think worst case scenario, shipping to Hawaii, let's say. How long at most will that take? Take that into consideration. So the range is minimum, it could be in the same state, or maximum, the most farthest state from where you're at. How long is that gonna take? So in this case, I put five to seven business days. I say business days to exclude weekends. Otherwise, your customers are gonna count the weekends and you'll be like, where is my order, right? You don't want that. So five to seven business days. I'm gonna make sure that, that this is uh, capitalized, right? And then I'm also going to say who I'm using as a carrier. So in this case, I'm gonna say USPS, all right? I'm gonna click on that and that whole thing, they get to see what type of shipping it is, how long it's gonna take, and what carrier they're choosing based off of this. And so from that right here, I'm gonna say, look, no matter what it is, this is the price. The price is, let's hypothetically call it $8.99. Uh, let's see, we could also add conditions to this price. So is this price based on weight or is this uh, price based on price? This is where things get interesting because let's pretend that you have, you're selling, um, I don't know, uh, cell phones and each cell phone hypothetically weighs, let's say a pound. I don't know how much cell phone weighs. But if an item weighs a pound and you wanna say, okay, I'm gonna offer you standard shipping, right? For $8.99, okay? But the maximum amount of cell phones I could ship you is gonna be two, that's it, okay? So in this case, you gotta make sure that on Shopify, you set up the weight values of every item. Like let's hypothetically call it every item weighs one pound. And so if every item weighs one pound and you wanna offer $8.99 flat rate for those customers who purchase at least two items that weigh one pound, then we say maximum weight two, minimum weight zero. Because once they surpass two, then there's a different flat rate that kicks in. All right, so you're gonna, it's gonna make sense in a second. So we're gonna go right here, we're gonna say done on that. And as you could see, standard delivery, five to seven business days, USPS, but it's from zero to two pounds. Now, let's say we're not working with pounds, we're working with, uh, how do you call it, currency, where it's like, well, if you spend less than $50, I'm gonna charge you $8.99 for standard shipping, USPS five to seven days. If that's the case, then let's change our condition over here, right? I'm gonna edit the rate and I'm gonna say it's gonna be based on a price. And the maximum price is going to be $49.99 because the moment that they hit 50, something nice is gonna happen. So minimum price from zero to $49.99, I'm gonna charge you $8.99 and I'm gonna use USPS. Now I'm gonna create another rate because what happens if it's over 50 bucks? This is another flat rate, right? So right here, I'm gonna say standard free shipping five to seven business days USPS. Uh, Cause I'm telling them that it's the same thing. I'm using the same carrier, right? And the condition is, is that this is free. That's it. I'm, um, it's gonna be based on price when the minimum price is $50, okay? because remember how I stopped at $49.99 on that last one, and then maximum price is just whatever, it doesn't matter. So I'm setting up a free shipping based on a condition. Again, these are flat rate fees, right? So if you look at it, between zero to $49.99, I'm gonna charge you uh, nine bucks, right? But for those that are free shipping, if your cart is over $50, you get free shipping, okay? Now, I'm gonna give a third option just to, so you could see the ideas that you could go with this. Let's say someone doesn't wanna waste time on the order. They don't want to wait five to seven business days. They want it to be priority. They want it to be overnight, right? So if you guys offer that service, then here's our next rate. You could say priority or you could say overnight. Overnight delivery, here we go. One to two business days. Get ready for this, FedEx. Notice I'm using a different, right? But 
this one costs twenty five ninety nine, and the condition is nothing. You don't put a condition because regardless if it's over fifty bucks or under fifty bucks in this case, this is a premium thing that you're offering. You're saying, look. You want overnight delivery, no matter what your card is. I could give it to you in one or two business days, but we're choosing FedEx. But you got to pay $25.99. This price of $25.99, is it literally the carrier's price? It could be if you wanted to, but you don't have to. So let's pretend that FedEx really charges anywhere around the world. They have different prices. They're like, well, to Florida, it only costs this much overnight. But to Hawaii, it costs this much in order to be overnight. To be more descriptive, to Florida, it costs, let's say, $12. But to Hawaii, it costs $20. You're like, oh, wow, that's a big range. Overnight, I'm going to charge the maximum price as if it would be to Hawaii, and I'm going to add an extra 6 bucks to it for my handling fees. That's where I came up with the $25.99. You see how that math kind of adds up? So regardless, wherever they are in the United States, it could be as far as Hawaii or it could be as close as the next door. If they want overnight you charge the most premium and you'll be amazed people will pay they will pay they don't care they just want it fast right due to whatever reason so once this is all said and done don't forget to press save so i think that's probably the most important thing otherwise you know things get carried away and remember what i told you about if you have different flat rates for different countries um if we have flat rates set up in the united states well what about let's say canada so the first thing you want to do right away is create a new shipping zone. So you create a new shipping zone and you're going to call this Canada. And then here on the search box here, you're going to type Canada again. And then from here, you click on Canada and it chooses all of the provinces and you press done and then press save again. So now you notice that you have almost like two dimensions here. You have flat rate shippings that's considering the United States. But if your customers are from Canada, you could set different flat rates just for that country. And you could continue doing this over and over again. The real question is, do you really have to? Well, to finalize this video, the, the answer to that question is, it depends on how much international sales you get. So if you look at your analytics or you look at you know your sales in Shopify and you see all your orders are domestic, let's pretend that you have 70% of all orders are domestic, but then that last 30%, Pay attention to that 30%. Where is the majority going as far as international sales goes? In many stores, I've noticed, I've noticed that people go to Canada, that rather people from Canada, they're big buyers internationally. In fact, they're probably the number one international buyers right after the United States when it comes to sales. But depending on your store, it might not be Canada. It might be the UK or it might be Australia because those are also heavy hitters when it comes to e-commerce shopping. So make this decision about splitting up dimensions on countries only based on data, only based on facts. If your Canada sales are high and you notice that uh, international sales, Canada is number one, then make something for them. Or if it's Australia, make something for Australia. But if you only had like, let's say, just one or two sales within the last year, or the last six months, just something very minuscule, right? From a country, let's say, I don't know, Spain, just to throw something out there, then don't make one of these because you don't get a lot of Spain clients. You just instead create a, a final one called the rest of the world, right? And you make a flat rate just for the rest of the world. And just to show you, I create right here and see where it says rest of the world. And right here, I'll type rest of the world, which means Considering the policies that I haven't created yet, I want you to consider that. If you're going to do the rest of the world, obviously, and you don't have anything here, what you want to do is just delete this. Delete that zone. The rest of the world will also now consider Canada, and it'll be a flat rate across everybody. Anyways, that's it for me. Hope this helped. Let me know if you like this video. I hope that I answered um, Madison's question on this. And again, if you have questions for me, Please don't forget to put your uh, questions down in the comments as to what you need to learn. And then obviously based on requests, I'll go ahead and make that video out for you guys. Anyways, have a great rest of your week. Talk to you soon.